Bear Hill has served this community for over 126 years, and I think its closing is a, a great loss uh, to the city. Things change, and time obviously moves on. My daughter took it hard. My eight-year-old took it hard. Well, you were at the graduation yesterday. So did she. It killed me. Mommy, you came here, right? It's family. Um, you know, and this spans back through all of the different programs that we've had over the Bear Hill history. Um, it's just been a community-based school um, from the time that it began up until this year when, when, as you know, we are slated for closure. When I first arrived at Fairhill, um, automatically I knew, um, and instantly I knew that um, Fairhill was a school that embraced and reached out to and invited and welcomed. This is Dr. Dina Cola, yes. Mr. Laver. He was our fifth grade teacher. And Dr. Dina Cola. Uh huh. Dr. Dina Cola was a pioneer. She brought into the school a reading program, Success for All, and really the children did succeed. I've been teaching here for 35 years, which is a lot of good memories. I mean, I just like to look at it this way. You know, in spite of what the critics say about inner city children and I'm just sad because you only hear the bad news and the kids here you know there are awful lot of good kids that have done a lot of good good works um, I have taught kids that are now doctors they're on the police force and you never get to hear about them being the heroes you want to get the wood with me? I want to bury all my cousins here. My mom, my grandma went to the school. I'm surprised. The children here at Fairhill. They uh, have wonderful spirits. They're joyous. They're very energetic. And I enjoyed um, getting them excited about science. Okay? Good. Do it for me, okay? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's just so hard. It's, it's really complicated difficult so yeah make sure you know where you're at and what you're doing and who you're hanging with and when you go to your new school how do you want the burgos great oh, and I mean, when you go to your new school the second thing i'm going to do on the opening day of school is call and see how you guys are doing because i'll be at my new school too and i want you to make sure i'm sorry pumpkin i love touching your hair i want you to make sure that you are showing them that you are Fairhill's finest. Well, I've spent 20 years of my life here. Um, and so I have seen a myriad of, of students. Um, I have made so many lasting friendships. Um, it's wonderful when my students come back and show me their children who are being enrolled. Um, Thanks so much. And then for this here, bye. our shop there. Can you say bye? Exactly. It's just, you know, it's it's a piece of my history. Come on, I'm ready. <laughs> sorry, I couldn't do more, sweetie. But you tried. I'm sorry, I couldn't do more. She tried her best. <laughs> Thank you. Bud. Thank you. And come and see me at Shepherd, okay? I'll leave it for your face. I don't know those people. I will. I'll come with you. I promise. I promise. You promise? Yep. Because I don't know anybody. I'm going to come visit you and I told Miss Jakes I'm going to go see her. I'm going to go. I don't know what I'm going to do. I only have my family with me. I'm going to work with you. I'll go help you. I will promise. Gracias. Hasta luego. I don't know what I'm going to do without my family. I'd just like to say a final goodbye to some of the best young people in the city of Philadelphia. Please have a safe summer um, and take care of yourself. Thank you. Bye bye.